I guess Coach Prime and Coach Thurman is letting everybody know, hey, we're not done yet. We're not done. We're just getting started. Guys, I guess Coach Prime is sitting in his office right now with his feet propped up on his desk with his boom box just blaring with the music loud and clear, just, you know, having a good time knowing that, hey, these recruits are going to keep on coming through the door because they know what Jackson State has to offer. It's your favorite coach back at it again, 10 toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you get all upcoming videos. Not to mention, make sure you like and comment on the videos and share them as well. And for all my leaders out there, welcome back. Hey, I need you guys to do the same thing because you already know we're trying to kick this YouTube algorithm in the behind and let them know we ain't playing no games out here. Let me tell you something. Your favorite coach is going to go ahead and tap on in, but I'm going to tell you right now, I forgot and I got to remind you, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, I'm tapped in. We're going to get on in this thing right now and we're going to talk about it. You already know that the defensive quarterback room is already going to be busting wide open because I'm trying to figure out where they're going to put all these chairs at there because it seems like there's more and more cornerbacks coming to the school than what anybody really imagined. First coach got the lineman, now you're getting the DBs. I'm like, God, dog, boy. I'm like, they, they, are, they are checking off all the boxes of everything that they needed that they were looking to upgrade within their program. And guys, guess what? Here we go again. They got another one. But you know what? In that cornerback room already, you got some you got some hot talent up in that daggone cornerback room. You got hey listen. Do y'all even know who's in the do y'all know who's in the room? Do y'all do y'all know who's in that cornerback room right now? You don't know, okay, let me break it down for you. You got Warren, you got Moffitt, you got Petty, you got Bowden, you got Armstrong, and now you're ready to add this next young man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me tell you something. Hey, without further ado, I'm pretty sure y'all already know it's Kervick Wiggins, 5'11", cornerback from Louisiana Monroe University. He's a three-star recruit uh, that ranked at, he's ranked 2,554th at his position, 241, and, and in the state of Texas, he's ranked 365. Now, Wiggins did redshirt his freshman year. He only played four games as a true freshman. Now he didn't have that much, he didn't get that much burn out there on the field, but he got enough to where he was able to get film to, you know, uh, um, that definitely stood out to the Jackson State coaching staff, Coach Prime and Coach Thurman. Uh, and now he a hey, now he's a now he is a tiger. But let me tell you something. Let, let me let me let me base this down on where I'm seeing this going with this new uh transfer that came in, which is Mr. Wiggins. Mr. Wiggins is an asset to the university. I know y'all like Coach Wayman. How's he an asset? He's, he hasn't even played a game yet. I'm going to tell you how. If you paid any attention to the defense that Coach Thurman ran when he was with the Jets and with the Buffalo Bills, that defense mirrors them having all these cornerbacks that they have currently on their roster, not to mention the DBs as well. You got to be you got to be able to drop back in the coverage as well as come up and not in the dirt sometime and let, let, you know, let these folks know that you're here as you know, th there's different schemes that they're going to have going on with this defense. I'm telling you, listen, guy, listen to me. The defense that coach Thurman ran while he was in, uh, while he was with the Jets and with Buffalo, I'm going to give it to you, give you the stats from the 2013 season, 2013, 14 season. Okay. During that season, the defense ranked, they, the points allowed was 24.2 points allowed per game, and that was ranked sixth in the NFL in total defense with 327.5 yards per game. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. You're going to see a lot of blitzing coming off those edges as well as up the middle. Linemen for the opposing team, they're going to have to make sure that they're able to account for the players that's on that line of scrimmage. And sometimes coach may bring more up on the line of scrimmage than what opposing offensive lines are going to be able to block. So that means these offense, these uh, quarterbacks, they're going to have to change up the protection packages to make sure that they're not allowing someone to come in and rock their bell, keeping them from, you know, either A, completing the pass, or better yet, what uh, Coach Thurman and the Jackson State uh, Tigers are looking for you to do is turn the ball over, throw it to them, or fumble it. That's what they're looking to do. And basically, that's what the Jets did within this defense the first two years that they ran it. Look, I'm going to put it to you like that right now. Uh, wait a minute. Let me, let me put this up. I'm going to put it up on here for you to see exactly what's going on. And then I'm going to get to this next topic. Check this out. All right. Y'all ready? Okay. Now, look at this. <clears throat> this next thing, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let me show you this next uh, slide here where you're looking at the opposing daggone, uh, excuse me, the opposing defenses 
in the swag. Okay, and this is this is based off of 2019. This has all of the teams that played that year in the SWAC as far as the defense. Now you already know Gremlin was ranked number one back then with the average uh average points per game was 22.4. Alcorn State was 23.1, Southern was 26, Alabama State was 27.4, University of Arkansas Pine Bluff was 27.6, and the list goes on and on. In the in the previous slide that I just showed you. Accord, based on the defense that he ran with the Jets, with that personnel, they only allowed 20, was it 24.2 points, right? So if they allowed 24.2 points based on 2019 stats, they would roughly be ranked third in defense, okay? So with looking at all of that, and then when I come back and look at the offense side, you had Prairie View that, you know, excuse me, Prairie View A&M, they were averaging 35.5 uh, points per game. So now, if you take that 24.2 points and you look at everything that's going on here, both on the offensive and defensive sides of the ball, guess what? Jackson State should win a lot of these games on paper. Like I, I, I had a conversation with one of, one of my new uh, family members earlier today who kept saying that, you know, Jackson State should be able to run the table. You know what? That may be true. But you got to remember one thing. These teams are going to these teams are going to get up for these games. What I mean by get up is they know who they're coming to play, and they come. They're looking to go ahead and knock their block off. Especially if Jackson State comes into their stadium with no losses. Oh, they hang that first one on them, boy. It's going to be a thing of beauty, and you're going to have kids playing outside their mind. You get to knock off Coach Prime's. Oh, you know what? And that's going to be something that they're going to forever have that they're going to talk about for the rest of their lives. Like, hey, Coach Prime, hey, my team played against Coach Prime, and daggone, they was undefeated. Guess what? Guess who gave them their first loss? We did. We gave it to them. So, guys, there's a lot at stake with all of this, but I'm telling you right now, it's going, it's going to be some phenomenal football that's going on this season, especially this fall when this fall kickoff. Classic down in uh, Florida. That's going to be a phenomenal game between uh, Florida A&M and Jackson State. Guys, I'm telling you, Hey, get your popcorn ready. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. Just get your popcorn ready and get, get ready to go because there's a lot of different teams out here that's got something to say, especially all corn. But, guys, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that for another video. I'm going to get back into that right after. You know, I'm going to get back into that here shortly because I'm not done tonight. Coach got a lot. He's going to pop off. So, y'all get ready for this content. Coach Walker is wishing Kervin, Wiggins, and Jackson State University nothing but the best of luck this upcoming season. And, hope, and look forward to seeing them doing some phenomenal things out there on the field. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can find us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be the one and lead.